Hello everyone, my name is Joy. Thank you so much for choosing to flow with this yoga class today. Today's class will be focused on just cultivating more love in our life. And we can do that simply by keeping our mind, our bodies, and our hearts open to the beautiful experiences life has for us. And in doing that, we release things that are holding us back. And sometimes those feelings of fear or anxiety, anything like that, maybe from past relationships or hurts that we've had, can get stuck in our physical body in the form of pain in our back, our hips, shoulders, really anywhere that we might be carrying that heaviness. So today our goal is to release that heaviness, open our hearts, and cultivate a little more love in our life. And we can give that love back to ourselves, we can spread it to our friends and family, or just even by sharing a smile to a stranger. Anything like that can just bring more love out into the world. And of course we all know we all could use more love in this world. So let's go ahead and get started. I think a great way to start today is going to be on our hands and knees because we're going to start to move into a cat cat and release any stuck energy that could be in our spine or the muscles around our spine. And for those of you that maybe have any reasons why being on hands and knees could be difficult, you can even do this in any seated position and just opening the chest and rounding back. So I was going to keep in mind yoga is beneficial for all people regardless of their ability physically. So if you can move even a little bit, feel free even those that can't move. Starting with the breath, okay? So if your physical body is restricted in any way today, just continue the breathing and that flowing and meditation. But for those of us that are on here the knees, we're going to do tucking our chin, tailbone down, head is down, breathing in, and then exhale, lifting and breathing out. So we're going to tuck everything in, breathe in, bringing some oxygen to that upper back end with those tight spaces where we might be holding on to tension. And then exhale, head and tailbone back up. Just going to move through this about three more times. Breathe in. Keep your knee and hip alignment. Feel your heart mounting down. This is sometimes called a heart mounting pose, but we're going to notice that we're opening our chest, our shoulders, our upper back. As you melt your heart down, if you feel restriction, just come up a little bit, breathe in. Exhale, go a little bit deeper. Maybe even bending the elbows, bringing the palms towards the top of the head. Visualize any places that you need to open up in your physical body and your right into those spaces and if there's anything emotionally coming up here take a few deep breaths and just allow whatever thoughts come to come anything you want to let go of blow that away with every exhale and if you're finding anything that is a beautiful experience you want to keep with you just breathe that in keep that with you take one more look at that good exhale now we're going to come down to our belly find a sphinx position shoulders pulling away from just going to start to tip one ear to one shoulder, other ear to other shoulder, sliding the head and gently side to side. And we're just going to gently roll the chin side to side, ear to one shoulder, ear to the other shoulder. And then as we feel ready here, we're going to lift our gaze up, maybe even extend the arms from here and drop the elbows. This is a smaller movement than our upper dog. We're still kind of in that sphinx position. We're just extending the arms. This might open up your back in a new space. It's okay if it's feeling challenging. You don't have to fully extend it. Give it a try to play. And for those of you that want to go deeper, hands under shoulders. Let's roll shoulders back, come up a bit higher. Roll back down, breathe in. Exhale, coming up. Hand down, breathing in. And exhale, coming down. Now, breathing in at the bottom. We're going to exhale, come up. Top of the head pouring back. Let's tuck our toes, lift the knees, and send hips back through a downward dog. We're going to walk our feet up, tread through the heels, head falling between the arms. Get to raise the right leg up, and let's begin to circle out that hip, dropping the leg down and back up, circling one. Holding yourself strong with those arms, two, and three. Let's reverse that direction. We're going to take it away, circle up and around one, and two. And on three, raising that leg high, let's sweep that right foot up, find our 
warrior. One, breathe in. Exhale, pull the elbows back, open the chest, and then take the hands behind the back. We're going to keep lifting and opening the chest. And then we're going to bow the chest forward for that right leg. Tuck the chin, draw the arms back, breathe in. Exhale, swing the arms back up again, breathing in, and exhale, opening to warrior two. Let's flip our right palm, reach up and back, breathe in. And then we're going to exhale, sink a little deeper, and then straighten out that right leg and fold down over to that left leg. Breathing in. Feeling good. From here, let's go ahead and turn the left toes forward, lift the right heel, come up into a high lunge, breathe in. And we're going to stack shoulders strong overhead, so we're going to exhale, draw right knee up, and then lunge back. This is a really nice, challenging balance here as we shift our weight from back to front. Just feeling how we have to kind of engage that core to hold us and find our center. And Anytime we have any type of challenges in our life, we know it can be hard to get through, but coming back to that breath, and we can do that here with our physical challenges as well. Using that breath, one more minute. As we exhale, let's pull that right knee up. Take a moment to left hand onto our right knee, and twist our right hand back. We're thinking about looking to our past, letting go of anything we need to release, and then maybe looking forward to the future, maybe stopping that leg out in front of us, either just keeping the knee forward or extending the leg, breathing in. And then we'll exhale, sweep right hand, right leg down. Reach a left arm up, breathe in. This may be enough here. If you want to go all the way to a twisted high lunge, maybe take right hand outside of left leg, maybe palms together, maybe wrapping that pose, maybe gently releasing the back knee. These are just options. Remember that through this flow, even if all you choose to do is child's pose and breathe, that's okay too. We have to listen to our bodies each day, come back to what we need that day. Sometimes we need a good challenge to push through to motivate us, but sometimes we need a little rest. So take one, two, two more deep breaths. And time to do a twist, we're releasing toxins when we come out of that, so let's breathe in a little deeper. Exhale, let go of anything we want to release, and let's flex that left foot, sitting halfway back, or maybe even all the way back here. Just let go of any tension as you may find it in your body here. All right, we're gonna keep thinking about this connection of opposite hand to foot. I'm gonna show a few options. Option one, just sit and try to bring right hand over to left foot, ankle, or knee, wherever you can reach. Option two, shift forward. And we still keep that connection with the foot. We tuck the back leg, and maybe we come out into a variation of our side plank where we're pulling the opposite leg out. So feel free to try that as well. Or just hold that connection and breathe. Breathing in, bringing that symmetry to our opposite, and then exhale, come back through plank. Let's lower chaturanga. Curl up cobra, upper dog. Breathing in. Exhale, back through downward dog, walking speed out. Beautiful, beautiful job. This time, the left leg is going to take that circle up and around. Circling through that leg, just like we did on the right side. As we take these circles, the right leg gets a little deeper stretch. Let's take it the other way. We're also waking up left hip. Again, just trying to get any stuck feelings or emotions out of our body today. Breathing in and out. You can also do this from right knee if needed. We have one more circle. We're going to draw, left knee up, breathe in, exhale, plant that foot, pivot back to warrior one, breathe in, exhale, draw those elbows down, let's take our hands behind our back, open our chest a bit more, and then exhale, let our chest pour over that leg, arms going up, breathe in. All right, let's exhale, sweep the arms back up, and open out to warrior two, breathing in. Exhale, reaching out with left arm. Let's pull back, peaceful warrior. Breathing in and out. And then exhaling, rounding way one time. We're going to come up and back, straighten that left leg. And then we're going to turn our chest all the way down to this right leg in a fold. Stretching deeply through our legs. Breathe in. Exhale again, breathe in. Exhale. 
This time, let's turn the right toes forward. Just take a moment, look under both legs just to clear through that spine. Breathe in. And then we'll exhale, come around to the other side, lifting the right heel. This is our high lunge. Let's sweep up, checking in with that balance. Breathe in. Strong core, exhale. Pull up that left knee. And come back, breathe in. Exhale, draw that left knee up. And again, breathe in. Exhale. Let's do three more using our strong breath. Exhale. And breathing in. And exhale. One more time, breathe in. Now as we exhale, let's hug that left knee in. Let's take our left arm back. Thinking again about that. Anything you want to let go of in your past, any past hurts or feelings that you just want to release. And then take a hold of your front leg, whether that's the knee or extending the foot. Let's think about moving forward to our future. Being kind, sharing love with others, letting go of past hurts. Exhale, let the left hand come down, right arm up. Beautiful job. You are so strong. You made it through all of that. Feel free to come to our knee twist now. Just releasing even more. Okay, so that arm may go around the outside of the leg. Maybe wrapping the pose. Okay, feel free to drop the back knee. So anytime I use challenging poses, I love to think about the aspects of yoga that help us just get through all of our challenges in life, those warrior poses. Thinking about how much love we can cultivate that helps us get through these challenges. So we learn about like Krishna and the Bhagavad Gita encouraging Arjuna to keep going, things like that. It's gonna help us remember that we can do it, we can keep going as well. Here we go, big breath in, exhale, unwind, release. Let's fold back maybe halfway, maybe all the way. This is your moment to rest, release, restore your body. Anytime you come through those hard challenges in your life, know that you've got this, you can get through it. You've been through so much in your life already, and you're still here. So no matter what comes your way, you've got this. Every breath at a time, just take one breath at a time, and same thing through your yoga flow. That can remind you to do that in everyday life when you meet those challenges. Don't worry about where you're going in the next pose. Think about your breath and how your body's feeling just in that moment and give your body what it needs. Share that love with yourself and you'll have more love and care to share with others. Let's take our left hand to right foot and learn you find that opposite hand to foot or leg connection. For those of you that want to come forward, it's almost like you're standing on your foot for a moment with your, or standing on your hand for a moment with your foot. We're going to tuck our left leg, push through our right hand, pull that right leg out. Breathe in. Exhale, we can do this. Breathe in. Exhale, one more breath in. Let's exhale, step through plank. Really strong core, going down, shadow on the left. Cobra, upper dog, breathe in. Exhale, back through, downward dog, walk those feet out. Beautiful job. This time we're just going to sweep our left leg up, breathe in, maybe bend the knee, maybe flip the pose, your choice. Breathe in. And then exhale, take the left leg back up and let's slide left knee out for pigeon. Just take a moment, raise the arms up, circle the wrists out of the knee, and then fold over that leg. Just take a few moments of rest. Allow yourself to just breathe here. Any thoughts that come your way, again, if they're something you want to keep with you, keep that with you. Let those positive thoughts fill your heart. If it's anything you want to let go of, release it, exhale, and blow it away. And know that you have the choice of what thoughts to keep with you. That's up to you. Keep your breath going. Try to find some feelings of gratitude. Notice any, anything that puts a smile to your face. Whether that's something as simple as a wonderful cup of coffee or tea you had that made you have a warm feeling. Or maybe a friend or a kind stranger that just shares some happy feelings with you, whatever it might be, just let that feeling of gratitude fill your heart. When you feel ready to come out, let's come up. Let's tuck our back to a fine plank. Let's lower channel, we're gonna curl up. Cobra upward dog. Let's go back through downward dog. Raise our right leg, breathe in. Bend that knee, maybe we want to look under our arm. We want to flip, breathe in. Exhale, raise that right leg back up and let's 
sweep the knee up again for pigeons. Raise the arms back, maybe circle the ribs. And let's let our chest fall over our right leg this time. And sometimes I like to keep hands back here, sometimes forward. See what feels good for you, what you need in each moment. And just breathe here. Rolling away any stress or tension. like this. So thumb and index finger, base of the hand, and the rest of the fingers are spread out. We place this in front of our heart, and this mudra, you want to say a little mantra with it, that is talking about, you know, appreciating the love that we cultivate within ourselves. So the mantra says that I embrace the radiant brilliance of my loving heart. This one has meant so much to me because often through life, we might not always receive love back in return from the, the love that we spread out. So remembering to appreciate that brilliance of your own loving heart. And let's just take some deep breath and I'll repeat that a few times for you. So you can repeat that to yourself or out loud. So breathing in, I embrace the radiant brilliance of my loving heart. I embrace the radiant brilliance of my loving heart. I embrace the radiant brilliance of my loving heart. Namaste. Enjoy your day. Thank you so much for flowing with me. I hope that you found some beautiful love through this flow and have more love to share with others. Come back to this anytime you need just to pick me up in your day for feeling some joy, happiness, and love and sending lots of love back to you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.